What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I want to talk about the accidental Amazon listing of what people are speculating could be major in-game spoilers of the goings on in Destiny 2. But before we get into the video, if you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like is much, much appreciated. Can we reach 4,000 likes in these dry times of Destiny? That would be absolutely epic. Now, if you are sub to any other Destiny YouTube channels, I'm pretty sure yesterday your sub box would have been spammed with Destiny content creators posting videos on this matter or speculating it's all to do with Destiny 2. Me personally, I kind of have a different conclusion on it. Okay, so if you've been living under a rock the past few days, let me quickly run you through what's going down. Basically, Amazon accidentally listed three new Mega Blocks building sets which they quickly removed shortly after listing. The three sets were the Mega Constructs Destiny Aspect of Glass building set, the Aspect of Glass being a water glass ship. Although this listing is unavailable, we can still read the details of the product, which are seen on screen now. Now, why this listing was removed as the ship is in game already is a little confusing, but we'll talk about that in a quick second. The second listing which was removed was the Destiny Cabal Goliath tank building sets and the third one which has everybody talking is the Cabal Bruiser battle building set. Its description reads as follows. Buildable hangar platform. Set the scene for a clash between a bruiser's crushing strength and a master swordsman's skill. A legendary warrior faces his greatest contest yet in the tower hangar. Wielding his raised lighter, Hero of the Crucible, Lord Shax, prepares to pit his blade against the furious cleavers of the Cabal Red Guard. Now this is where it gets really, really interesting, as it corresponds with some statements we've heard from Shinobi and Kateku regarding the Tower and the Cabal within Destiny 2. Now I don't want to jump to any kind of conclusion on what this means Destiny 2 wise. It could, however, be cut content from Destiny 1. Wasn't there speculation about Cabal Raid coming as DLC within Destiny 1, what has to be over a year ago now? Do you guys remember this image? It was supposed to be DLC plans which were leaked on the internet for the future of Destiny 1. Although this image is a little fuzzy, on screen now we can see a cleared up version thanks to Little Big Oki. We can see if this was a legit leaked image, even if a few things have been changed, we were supposed to get a Cabal themed raid or DLC. Now whether or not Bungie have scrapped the idea of Cabal Theme DLC for Destiny 1 and just plan on using it for Destiny 2 as story, it, as many do believe, including myself, was supposed to happen with Bungie's first Destiny game. Now hear me out, there is basically 7 months from now and the speculated September release of Destiny 2. That's 7 months for Bungie to prep content for their existing game. Who's to say we still won't get a Cabal add-on for Destiny 1? Here is why I say this. The first of the three Mega Bloks listings was for the Vortal Glass Raid ship. Why remove that listing, it begs to ask. Was it removed because Bungie, as we all believe, will eventually bring old raids back to Destiny 1? And are they waiting to announce this at a future event? Maybe Activision's next conference call on February 9th? Who knows? It has been speculated for ages though that old raids will return. Now with that in mind, do you think maybe, just maybe, Bungie are working on one more DLC for Destiny 1, which will be their last DLC until Destiny 2 is released. Now there's been rumours circulating the internet for a while about Destiny 2 being delayed until 2018. Could this be why, or could it be something just to fill in the gap because of this 2018 delay of Destiny 2? Could this DLC be connected to the accidental listing of this new toy, which features details we have not seen or heard in game as of yet. Either way though, the listings are real, the toys are real, they were removed for a reason. The good news is, if they have merchandise already prepared for sale on Destiny 2, that could very well mean we might see an official reveal sometime soon. If it's planned DLC for Destiny 1, which in my opinion would be epic, like I said we may see a reveal soon. Now although this is all speculation, something is definitely in the works at Bungie and I'm dying for new info and content. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in that comments section. Is this Destiny 2 leaked info? Is this Destiny 1 DLC leaked info? Let me know what you think. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do hit that like button. I do appreciate the support. And I will catch you guys on that next one.